Hey everybody and welcome to week three of Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. Jenny, thank you for joining us once again. I know I've loved chatting with you, especially for the To The Girl segment. So thank you for being here. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, so Jenny, one of the best things I think about your book, Get Out of Your Head, is there's a lot of, there's a lot of good words, good stories, but you don't just leave us with good stories. You actually help us with practical exercises and tools and tricks and tips on how to actually stop the spiral toxic thinking that we may be struggling with. And so I would love to know, what is your go-to exercise or tip that you use when you may be spiraling in your thoughts. Yeah. Well, I will say this is a big old mess up here, right? <laughs> There's all these <laughs> thoughts and and it does feel like sometimes just to untangle them. And we talked about last week that mind map that that helps me untangle them. But I would say the most important thing that I do on a regular basis is not actually a tool it is actually calling a friend. I think that phone a friend thing is the very most important thing we can do. Um, certainly, writing down our thoughts. Sometimes I will phone that friend and I don't even know what's wrong. And I think those diagnostic tools that are in the book help us get there. Um, the interrupter of just what is it that that we can say about truth. There's a weapon in the back of the book that that talks about, you know, th that's a way to fight back, which talks about finding the truth and actually are we going to believe God because that's the real thing. We can all Google a scripture or find a scripture in our concordance that, that fights the lie that we're maybe believing. But that last question in that tool says, do you believe God? Are you going to choose to believe God? And I think that's the real kicker for us. It's not that we don't know the truth, it's that we don't actually believe the truth and apply the truth. And so that's another one that I kind of come back to that that makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but but I do think we all need that for each other, but just to, to ask the hard questions and to figure out, are we actually going to trust God with our biggest lies and our biggest fears? Yeah, I think uh, when you said phone a friend, there's one friend in particular, her name is Jess. And no matter what I'm struggling with or what I'm going through, I mean, she can call it out of me. She can speak truth. She knows scripture like the back of her hand. And it's quite amazing what will happen when I'm calling her if I'm really struggling with something or even if I don't know I'm struggling and just what she's able to speak to me to help settle my soul or at least come to what I might be struggling with. So I think community is huge. And it's something, it's why we love online Bible studies so much because there's a community of yes. women all over the world, whether they're in small groups or a Facebook community group, um, just there to build each other up and help each other because we don't want to stay in that pit or whatever we're struggling with. So I love that you brought up community and phoning a friend. I think that's so pivotal to what we do here, online Bible studies. And so as we go into our week three video, we have another to the girl segment. And so Jenny, we would love for you to um, really talk to the girl who struggles with depression. Yeah, well, the first thing I would say is I wish we were having coffee. I wish we could sit across from each other and I could hear your story. And I wish that I could wrap you up because this is rampant. There are so many people struggling with this. And I wanna say first that this is not your fault, that this isn't a lack of faith, that mental illness is real and it comes for all of us, I think in different seasons of our life. If you're someone that can avoid it all of the days of your life, I would be shocked. I think most of us are going to walk through seasons where we do feel depression, where we do feel anxiety, perhaps even to the point that, that we need counseling and perhaps medicine. And I wanna say on behalf of the whole church, you know, I can't speak for the whole church, but I do wanna say that as Christians, we haven't always been good about talking about this and, and giving tools that are needed to those that are struggling in the church with mental illness. So first, yay for even admitting it to yourself. And I pray that you will admit it to other people too. But I also want to say that this isn't just a physical war. You know, in the fall in Genesis, you see that that when we fell, we fell body, mind, emotions, relationships, we fell in every way. And so the fact that our brains and our bodies don't work perfectly like they will in heaven is a reality all of us have to face at different points. So do not be discouraged that, that you don't have enough faith. That is not the issue and that's not what I'm saying. But there is a spiritual component to this too because there is an enemy and he wants us to be stuck in our sadness, in our fear, in our worry, whatever it is for you. He wants us to be stuck for the rest of our days. And so we have to fight it on more than just the physical front, on more than just the emotional front. We've got to fight it on the spiritual front too. And so don't be afraid to pray against the enemy, to pray against the strongholds that, that you feel stuck in because 
yes, there is also a war. <laughs> and, and what a great way to knock out somebody that, that loves him and put them on the sidelines for the rest of their lives. So I would just say, don't be discouraged. You're not alone and, and fight back. Jenny, thank you for speaking into that and just calling attention to the whole idea that it's it's the enemy behind it and there's a spiritual realm in which we need to call upon to help us fight what's going on and somebody who may be struggling with depression. And so thank you for sharing that. Um, everyone, we are excited for what you're about to experience in week three of our Get Out of Your Head online Bible study. And once again, Jenny's book is packed full of scripture and just ways that we can fight the enemy. And so as you read the scripture, just remember when you know the truth and then when you live it out it changes everything and so we're grateful to be along with you on this journey have a great week